Well, hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, to another fun and exciting cheat day review. Today, we are going to be looking at Boyer's Molo Cup. And uh, I have seen these in passing here and there, but I, you know, have had them before in the past as well, but I haven't really thoroughly given a full on critique and really enjoyed all of the notes and flavors that is of the Molo Cup. Gotta make sure my hair is disheveled just the right amount. You know, it's not a, a classic cheat day review without some uh, horribly messed up hair. So there we go. Before we dive into this, let's take a look at the history of Boyers and the Molo Cup because you may be asking yourself, Molo Cup? I know a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but what is a Molo Cup? I kind of get it, marshmallow, yeah. But there is a whole lot more to this, so let's get into this. The Molo Cups were made when two brothers, the Boyer brothers, uh, in 1936, they started making these. And how they started making candy in the first place was they were in the smack dab in the middle of the Great Depression, and they needed, you know, to make some extra money. And so they started making candy inside of their mother's kitchen. And, you know, things started getting uh, big to the point where they had a little operation happening where one of the brothers would be making the candy, their mother and their sister would be wrapping all the candy, and the other brother would be selling the candies door to door. Now, you know, this became a huge phenomenon and s snowball effect, and here they are today uh, still selling the classic Molo Cups uh, right now. Wikipedia describes the Molo Cups as a coconut-laced milk chocolate cup that contains a whipped marshmallow center. And on the Boyer's official website, it says, Molo Cups are the delicious combination of rich milk chocolate and a creamy Molo center that is sure to satisfy even the biggest sweet tooth. This American-made candy is favored among many candy lovers around the world and was the very first cup candy made in the U.S., when you're looking for candy that is delicious, classic, and original, choose Molo Cups. All right, so that's it. That's the history. That's the description. Now let's see what these actually taste like. Uh, yeah, they they come with this cardboard paper, which has these uh, points, these uh, basically little coins that you could cut out and actually buy merchandise with. Uh, so I got 15 points here, so I'm on my way to get myself. What can you buy here? I don't know a t-shirt or something who knows All right, so the great thing about these is that it contains coconut. I'm really uh, Excited about that. I love coconut. So anyways without further ado. Here is the Molo cup from Boyer candy Save this one for later. All right, so what can I say about the Molo Cup? I love the texture. I love that the coconut is very apparent in the chocolate. There's there's no mistaking that there is shredded coconut all within the milk chocolate. It's not just here and not just there. It's everywhere. The Molo filling, very creamy, and it's very sweet. I will say the only gripe I have about it, comparing it to a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, is the peanut butter in a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is very, like, I don't know, savory is the right word, or hearty, but when you mix a very sweet chocolate with a very sweet filling, it's just sweetness overload, which I am completely happy about. The coconut is really what wins it over for me. The chocolate is great. It's very rich, very creamy. The Molo cream is good as well. Uh, it's not better than peanut butter, but it's good. So what would I give the Molo cups? I will give them a 9.5 out of 10. It's just missing that little bit of something. I really can't put my finger on it. It's definitely a unique candy item. 
I would definitely buy this again. I'd recommend it to somebody. And uh, yeah, that's it. Molo Cups get a 9.5 out of 10. And that is it for this cheat day review. Thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice, and I'm always here wanting to remind you that it's okay to cheat every once in a while. See you next time.